In other news, U.S. President Joe Biden has signed a law providing financial support for the victims of mysterious headaches and nausea suffered by U.S. diplomats. The condition has now been dubbed the Havana Syndrome. Dozens of cases have occurred at U.S. embassies around the world, starting with a cluster in Havana, Cuba. The cause of the illness has not been fully diagnosed as yet, and the identity of the attacker, if there is one, has not been revealed. The Havana Act provides financial compensation for members of the State Department and the CIA who suffer brain injury from what the U.S. officials suspect may be directed microwave attacks. Speaking on the bill, the White House press secretary said that the Biden administration is, and I quote, determined to get to the bottom of what is causing these incidents and the intelligence community is taking the lead. But we take every reported incident seriously. And what we want to do is ensure that our national security team is using every resource at our disposal, intelligence gathering, uh, assessing, treating every incident seriously, ensuring people receive medical care, uh, but without an attribution and without um, an assessment of the cause uh, or the origin. Let's give you a little bit of background. Starting in 2016, that is, Havana syndrome illnesses have struck more than 40 U.S. staff in Cuba and dozens more elsewhere, including some reportedly on U.S. soil. A member of CIA director William Burns' team had a similar symptom in India this month during a trip. Two U.S. officials in Germany were also among the recent victims. And according to reports, there have been dozens of cases afflicting U.S. officials in Vienna, Austria alone. There are at least 200 cases under investigation, half of them involving intelligence personnel. Defense and intelligence agencies have now ramped up investigations into the same. The symptoms are consistent with being exposed to directed energy. The bill that Biden signed was passed by Congress last month and provides financial assistance and improved health care for the Havana syndrome sufferer. It also provides funding for increased intelligence collection and analysis on determining the cause of the syndrome. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.